The next piece of the contextual call to action plugin is the pop-up placements functionality. And what this will allow you to do under the calls to action menu, you can see this under the pop-up placements section. But what this will allow you to do is insert lightbox pop-ups into your WordPress site based off the number of different rules in which we can set up with the contextual call to action plugin. And I'm gonna run through a couple of those right here. So the first option is the keyword detection profiles. So this is very similar to the content keyword detection placements under the content placements area. But basically what this allows you to do and what this pop-up is doing right here is looking for any post that contains the keyword call to action. And it actually will show a specific call to action pop-up with a zero second delay. So that's one example. The next example I wanna show is also uh, with the keyword detection profiles. And this is actually searching the refer to show a specific call to action, a specific pop-up call to action based off the referring site. So in this example, any traffic coming in from facebook.com is going to see this specific pop-up. And as you set up these rules, don't worry about your users seeing tons and tons of pop-ups. That's actually controlled under the global settings here. So uh, this actually specifies that every two hours, uh, if the user comes back into the site, then they can see another pop-up. Uh, if they see one, they're not gonna see any other pop-up for two hours. You can set this to zero by default, and that will actually let uh, the user see every single pop-up rule as they're browsing through your website. But we recommend kind of keeping that uh, to a minimum. You don't wanna overstimulate the visitors and show them too many pop-ups that can actually turn off visitors. The other option that you have here is you can use the native call to action templates that you have in your call to action templates area or you can actually iframe in a remote URL. So if you have another page you wanna show a user that's on another site, or if you set up your own custom kind of landing pages uh, to pull in, you can do that by selecting that option. The next section of the pop-ups area in the contextual call to action plugin, is actually doing post or page specific pop-ups. So in the examples that I have here, what we can see is based off the page ID, and you can grab the page ID by going into your pages or into the post section. And if you hover over any of the pages on your site, what you can see down in the bottom there, you can see the post ID. If I go ahead and open this uh, edit page as well, you can see the ID at the top of the page here. But once you have that ID, you can go ahead and plug that in to the uh, IDs field here, and then that will trigger that specific pop-up. So the example I have here is, I'm pulling in the pop-up example on the actual tour. I specify the height and the width of that pop-up, and I've added a two second delay, so it'll pop up after the user loads that page in two seconds. And the live example of that is on the pop-up specific page in the tour, you might have already seen it, but if I open that in a new window here, what you'll see is that pop-up pop-up in two seconds and the users see that. So this pop-up again, it can be an image uh, that you've hyperlinked, it can be HTML content, or it can be an iframed page that you pull in. Um, another popular use case is actually having a conversion form right here so people can sign up for your newsletter or convert and download a specific content offer. In the final section of the pop-ups area in the contextual call to action plugin, it's actually doing category specific pop-up profiles. So in this example here, what I have is every post that is in the marketing category, if I were to activate this profile, um, this pop-up would actually show on every single post in the marketing category. So it's a very quick and easy way to get these pop-ups, these contextually relevant pop-ups on those pages very quickly and easily without having to do it on a per post or per page basis.